The E plane and H plane are reference planes for linearly polarized waveguides, antennas, and other microwave devices. In waveguide systems, as in the electric circuits, it is often desirable to be able to split the circuit power into two or more fractions. In a waveguide system, an element called a junction is used for power division. In a low-frequency electrical network, it is possible to combine circuit elements in series or in parallel, thereby dividing the source power among several circuit components. In microwave circuits, a waveguide with three independent ports is called a T-junction. The output of E-plane T is 180 degrees out of phase where the output of H-plane T is in phase. E-plane For a linearly polarized antenna, this is the plane containing the electric field vector sometimes called the E-aperture and the direction of maximum radiation. The electric field or E plane determines the polarization or orientation of the radio wave. For a vertically polarized antenna, the E plane usually coincides with the vertical, elevation plane. For a horizontally polarized antenna, the E plane usually coincides with the horizontal, azimuth plane. E plane and H plane should be 90 degrees apart. topic h plane in the case of the same linearly polarized antenna this is the plane containing the magnetic field vector sometimes called the h aperture and the direction of maximum radiation the magnetizing field or h plane lies at a right angle to the e plane for a vertically polarized antenna, the H-plane usually coincides with the horizontal, azimuth plane. For a horizontally polarized antenna, the H-plane usually coincides with the vertical, elevation plane. Illustrations <inaudible> 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 Co- and cross-polarizations Co-polarization co on cross-polarization are defined for the radiating E and H planes. These directions are defined in spherical coordinates to correspond to the spherical wavefronts of the propagating wave. By convention the co-pole direction is the direction of the E field while the cross-pole direction is the direction of the H field. Receive power for an co-pole oriented antenna is maximum while receive power is minimum for cross-pole orientation. 